This is Mitch Weisberg with videos on sales, marketing, and entrepreneurship. In the last video we talked about marketing and in this video we're going to switch to sales. At some point you'll probably end up having a meeting or a talk with someone that you want to either purchase your product or who you want to invest in your company. This is what is technically called a sales call. A sales call is just a conversation, but it's a conversation with a point. And the point of the sales call is to either have this person pay you to advance the situation so he or she is closer to paying you, or to determine this person is not going to buy at this time and to move on to someone who will. Some people think that the purpose of a sales call is to get the other person to like you or to create rapport. The purpose of the call is not to make a new friend. This is a sales call. Don't confuse the two. Stick to your goal. Your goal is sales. Thus, you either want to close, to advance, or to move on. What you don't want is a stall. And those are the four possible outcomes of a sales call. Close, advance, move on, or stall. In a close, the person has agreed to buy. He or she gives you money and you give him or her your product or service. Obviously this is what you most want. In a move on, you have determined that this person is not going to buy. And in order to save your own time and theirs, you find a convenient way to end the call and you move on to the next potential buyer. Obviously you'd prefer a close, but a move on allows you to concentrate on potential closes so it's actually a good thing. An advance is where the potential buyer has revealed the steps necessary to achieve a close or to move on. Perhaps he or she needs to ask another person or perhaps he or she needs more information. In an advance you want to make sure that both of you understand what steps are that are going to lead to this decision who's going to do what, and when there will be a follow-up. A stall is the worst. This is where there is no definitive next step that moves the sale closer to a finish. For example, let me get back to you. That's a typical stall line. Send me a proposal and I'll review it. That may be a stall. And sometimes there's a gray area between whether something is a stall or an advance. I and mean, perhaps writing a proposal is part of the selling process. But you don't know that unless, unless you ask. If a person appears to be stalling, you need to ask if the person is just being polite and trying not to say no to you, or whether the person really is considering buying, and then ask what needs to happen for him or her to get to that point. Perhaps in another video, we'll spend some time going over how to avoid stalls. But for now, just keep clear that you want one of three results from each call. You either want to close business, or you want to advance the sale, or you want to be able to move on to the next prospect. How do you do that? In the next video, we'll go into the sales call process. But remember, when you're doing a sales call, your goal is to get an order, advance the sale, or move on. It's not to make a new friend and you never want to settle for a stall. Now there are four stages to a sales call. There's the warm-up, there's questioning, there's selling, and there's cleanup. And that's what we'll cover in the next video.